Hello all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's uh, video, I'll be talking about uh, the significance of the content set in FHG report. If you are totally new to the FHG report concept, uh, please refer to my uh, YouTube channel. There are a couple of videos on how to create FHG report and how to modify the FHG report. But the focus for the current uh, video is to explain about uh, the using of the content set in a FHG report. So as you all know, like FHG report is a combination of a row set and column set. But content set overrides the row set definition. So I'll take an example like, uh, uh, maybe I'll show in the system. Take an example, I have an FHG report, which is a simple gross profit uh, report. Uh, let me go to the report definition, reports define report. So this is a simple gross profit uh, report wherein uh, your uh, revenue minus cost of sales gives you the gross profit. So let me show you the ROSET definition. Go to the ROSET. Define ROS. So this is the revenue. This is cost of sales and the gross revenue. Uh, so sorry, gross profit. Let me run this FHG report. So go to view request. Submit new request. Search for program publish FSC report. This is the name of the report. Uh, name of the program and uh, oops. Okay. Uh, the report name and report. See now I am running the report without any content set and see how the report gets generated and then i'll show you how to create a content set and then run the fsc report using the content set Permits coming. Okay. Somebody changed. Sorry, I need to read and report. Let me copy this. Change the options. I just want to use the this template because this template actually gives the data in Excel. So somebody looks like in this testing environment has changed the uh, template to the RTF template. So let me select this uh, basic Excel template. Okay. So you have an option to change the uh, default template uh, using a system administrator responsibility. <coughs> okay, so this is how your report looks like so this is a gross profit statement so i don't have any data for the current uh, period but for your prior year i have this data this is your revenue this is cost of sales and this is the gross profit so my chart of accounts contains company department national account and there are a couple of intercompany segment and there is one more segment so this basically the revenue for all the uh departments and all the uh, other combinations so similarly this cost of sales is uh, is the sales for all the departments and other uh, segment values and now my requirement is i want this to be divided into separate reports for each department so that is like i want to see the gross profit statement for each of the department and then now let us see like how we can achieve that so that can be achieved through your content set Go to content set. I already have uh, a content set created. Uh, yeah, let me show you that. 
all departments that's the name of the content set <coughs> so in the content set you can see department 002 zzz and here you have a display option like i for all other segments i am specifying the display option as no override as i said like content set helps us in overriding the values whatever we have assigned at the row set level so i do not want any override for all other segments except for the department segment as far as the department segment is concerned and specifying it as 0, 0 to zzz that is first to last and as far as the display is concerned there are a couple of options here i just want to go for page expand so i can show you the uh, other options as well if you go for page expand there will be one page or one worksheet which will be created for each department okay now let me select this content set so one option is i can directly one option would be to directly enter this content set in my report definition so that whenever i run the fsg uh, whenever i run this uh, uh, program publish fsg report program using this fsg report now automatically the content set whatever is entered here will be defaulted so let me enter that now run the program publish fsg report Let me see as soon as I enter the report name automatically the content set is defaulted. Okay, now let me again change this template. Now we should be able to see the same cross profit statement report bifurcated by department okay let me close the previous report <coughs> okay now here you can see one worksheet got created for each of the department so wherever uh, there is no data for certain departments so here you can see zero zero but for all other departments wherever there's a data here you can see in this case the revenue is zero cost of sales is 641 you can see that so this is how you can create an fh report using a, a content set where there will be one page or worksheet which gets created for each department if you go for an option of pe and we have a couple of other options so now let's go back to again the content set now uh, change maybe p stuff page expand just go for page total save this let's rerun the program let me copy the existing one so that i need not again re-enter all the parameters <coughs> sorry okay now let's check the output Yeah, as we did not say page expand we just say page total so there is only one worksheet which was created where you have a revenue one row and cost of sales another row and gross profit as one another row if i now change to say row both what i have here so first of all instead of going for row both let us go for row expand so in case of row expand i want to expand the 
row. So instead of showing one row for revenue and one row for cost of sales, I want to have a separate rows for each of the department. this okay here as we have said row expand here you can see separate row for each of the departments so as far as the row revenue is concerned, we have the revenue under, under only one department and hence you can see only one row under revenue. But uh, whereas as far as the cost of sales is concerned, we have the cost or expenditure under different department and hence you can see multiple rows here. Now change this to instead of row expand, just say row both. So when you say row both, will be able to see the total as well as the chains. Here you can see the individual rows as well as a, a call a row for a total. Similarly, you can have you can see the individual row as well as the row for the total. Similarly, if you go for a row total, you can see only a total row. You can see only this row and this row. You will not be able to see the individual rows and so on so as far as um, n is concerned no override and uh, i think we have covered the other uh, display types as well so this is how you use the content set the most frequently used uh, uh, display value by most of the uh, customers is basically pe which is page expand wherein you want to expand the the row definition for multiple departments thank you thanks for uh, watching my video for interesting videos on uh, oracle financials please do subscribe to my channel thank you